In this next quick topic, it seems like 70% of Americans admitted that Tesla and all electric vehicles are expensive. So a little bit of an awareness piece out there if you're researching. There are a lot of different costs with buying an electric vehicle, and uh, you should really do uh, take a look at it and see if it makes sense for you as an individual. But let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to James. He posted this. 80% of Americans surveyed admitted that they did not know how affordable Teslas are today. 80%. Car buyers who think Teslas aren't affordable will, know, will not buy one and whether they can afford a Tesla or not. So what happened here is there was a study done. It seems like there was a study posted by Drive Tesla Canada. And what was pretty interesting from this study is that the main reasons people are keeping away from going fully electric were 70% said cost. 73% said range, 77% said a lack of charging infrastructure, and environmental impact, 66%. And so, of course, now if you're looking to shop for a Tesla, there's really low lease payments, there's a lot of incentives, but really, I really feel like there is a lot of, I guess, like bandwidth costs in a sense that if, yes, buying an electric vehicle, it does appear that where if you know how to set up charging at your house and finding where chargers are around your location, then yes, it can be a lower monthly cost than gas savings. But at the same time, not a lot of people can afford to think about all these different things or try to figure out how they're going to do a home and charger at their house or maybe don't even own a home charger at their house. So I can kind of see from both sides how buying an electric vehicle could have costs, maybe not just a monetary cost, but a mental capacity cost as well. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Yes, there's plenty incentives and yes tesla tries to make it as easy as possible with their incentives on the website and on top of that there's a lot of information out there in terms of how much chargers installations house at your house and also supercharger costs as well but let me know what your thoughts on it let me know what you're thinking of course, uh, according to James or posted by James, interest rates, as he pulled up, is a contributing factor as well. Because, yes, a monthly payment for a Tesla could be eight to nine hundred to a thousand dollars if you're financing it because you do not get the massive seven thousand five hundred federal tax credit right away. And that is something you file for your taxes next year. So that's why I really feel like next year, if it's going to be a point of sale seventy five hundred dollar discount, it could be a very interesting time frame next year because that's less financing as long as tesla does not raise the prices in the new year which i don't think they will actually do but if you're looking for the best deal on a tesla and how to get a step-by-step -step guide on how to get the best deal at the best financing rate that's where my patreon link down below in the description comes into play after you join you get a link to my buying guide which is the ultimate tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your tesla so definitely check it out patreon link down below